I'm Lari, and welcome to your mid-upper back mobility and stretch routine. What you're going to need today is a mat. That is it. So go ahead, meet me in a nice easy seat, and let's get started. We're going to begin with some dynamic work. So without letting the shoulders shrug up, place your hands directly on your shoulders. Take those elbows behind, and then bring them back together. As we perform this motion, just be very mindful of not letting the rib cage flaring up or tilting upwards. So just think about drawing opposite shoulder towards opposite hip and then bringing it back together. We have this for three. Last two. Last one, bring the hands behind the head. Gently let the chin go towards the chest on the inhale and then on the exhale, open up. Again, try to keep that rib cage stacked. We're just working on opening up the upper part of the back. Inhale to round. Exhale to open. Inhale to round. Just the upper portion of the back. Exhale to open. Twice more. And last time. Hold here. Gently press the head against the hand. So you have this push-pull motion going on. So push-pull. And then open up a little bit more. Same thing, push, pull, push the head against the hands. And then exhale, open up one more time. Push, pull, and exhale, open up. Take the hands side to side. And as you do this, just keep the hips on the ground, not letting the hip kind of come up. Nice side body reach. You can go directly to the side or you can start to play around with it. Start to twist open a little bit. Twice more each side at your own pace. And last time. Nice, go ahead and meet me in a kneeling position. Start with the left foot forward, right foot back, keep a neutral low back throughout. Left hand goes on top, right hand goes on bottom. Open up that left arm, reach back, reach back, and then bring it back together. The deeper the stretch, the closer towards the body that left hand will be. If this is too much, take that hand farther away from the body to decrease the intensity of the stretch. Three more times at your own pace. Last two. Last one, hold forward, switch that grip to neutral, and then thread it. So keep that hand tight to the body. And if again, this, if this is too much at any point, just take the hand a little farther away from the body to decrease the intensity of the stretch. Last time, hold here reach the right arm up and bring it back to center hands and knees position take all the way over off and over to the left side and just gently guide yourself over onto that left lat muscle breathe into it a little variation of puppy pose and start to take it to the right side shift the weight over onto that right side spin the heart open towards the left and breathe through it. Take it back to center, equal weight in both hands, and open up. Three expansive, long rounds of breath. Last round of breath. Frame the face with both hands, press off, and let's do the other side. Right foot is forward, right hand on top, left hand goes behind, spin it open, open up, and then bring it back together. The closer you keep that top hand to the body, the more intense the stretch. If needed, take the hand further away from the body to decrease the intensity of the stretch. We have this twice more. And last time, Hold the hands in front, switch the grip to neutral position, and then thread it open, bring it back. Four more times at your own pace.
last one, hold it here. Take the left arm, take a gentle stretch up and back, and then bring it back to center. Come to a tabletop position. This time, come to the left elbow and just very gently sway off and over to that left side. You should feel a big stretch underneath the armpits into your lat. One more big deep inhale. On the exhale, let's switch it to the right. Try to keep your hips fairly stacked over the knees. It's okay if it's not perfect, that's okay. We wanna just feel that nice, good stretch right underneath your armpit and to your lats. Breathe through it. One more big deep inhale. Now come center on your elbows and then exhale, release. You may need to walk the elbows up a little bit and then reground, recenter. Three rounds of breath. If needed, you can always straighten the arms to decrease the intensity. And last round of breath. Go ahead, release the arms straight, frame the face with both hands, and then very, very slowly come to the belly. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, release. Inhale, press against that mat, heart forward. Exhale, release. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, release. This time, come to the hands to increase the intensity of the stretch. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, release. Inhale, heart forward. This time, press through the tops of the feet. Exhale, release. Inhale, press through the tops of the feet. And exhale, release. Come all the way down onto the mat. Hands go out to a T. And very slowly and very gently start to roll over, opening up that upper shoulder, upper part of the back. And then when you're ready, take it to the other side. Continue this going at your own pace, twice more each side. Start conservative, and then every time you come back to it, you can go a little bit deeper. Once more each side. Once you get to the left side, hold the pose, not the breath, and breathe into it. Three rounds of breath. Last round of breath. Go back to alternating, slowly come out of it, and then go to the right. I'm lifting my head only because of my mic, so feel free to keep yours down the entire time. Once you come to the right side, hold here, just the pose, not the breath. Last round of breath. And we go back to alternating. Go left. Go right. This time, once you come to the left side, bend the elbow at a 90 degree angle. Go a little bit slower. This is going to intensify the stretch. And go back. Breathe into it. Three rounds breath. Last round. Alternate with straight arms, come out of it for three, two. This time we hold, bend the elbow 90 degrees and slowly go over. Last round of breath. On the exhale, come out of it. Big deep inhale, frame the chest. On the exhale, lift. Thread the left hand underneath the right, and then open up. Little spinal twist. Really focus more so on that right shoulder coming down. Bend the elbow 90 degrees. One more big deep inhale. 
on the exhale, come back to center, press off. This time, thread the right hand underneath the left and twist open. With every exhale, try to release that left shoulder down to the mat a little bit more. One more big deep inhale. On the exhale, twist back, frame the chest with both hands, lift off and meet me in a tabletop position. Keep the spine in a neutral position. We're only moving the mid to upper portion of the back. So think shoulder blades. On the inhale, draw the shoulder blades together. On the exhale, push those shoulder blades apart. Inhale, shoulder blades together. Exhale, push it apart. Don't let the head drop, keep the head neutral, tuck chin, full high pony. We have this three more times, go at your own pace. Last one. Reach the hands forward and then very slowly start to take your puppy pose back. For five, inhale, exhale four, inhale forward, Exhale three, exhale two, last one, hold here. You can place the chin on the mat, you can place the forehead on the mat, do what feels good for you. One more big deep inhale on the exhale, let the hips slide back towards the heels for a full child's pose. Hands are on the mat. Lift the hands up on the next inhale, and then exhale, rotate the hands behind the back. Palms face up. Rotate them back to the mat, palms up, flip them about midway to palms down, and then let's repeat that for four, three, two, Last time, take the hands off and over to the left, lift the head, and then exhale, really sway your way over to that left side, open up a little bit. Lift off, walk it over to the right, sway the weight of the body over to the right side, and melt. Inhale to center, and this is where we end. You can either stay here with arms straight, or you can take those elbows forward and take the hands behind to deepen the stretch and increase the intensity. Three rounds of breath here. Last round of breath. Slowly release the hands and roll it up. I hope you enjoyed this very quick thoracic spine mobility and stretch routine. As long as you tried your best and you feel good, that's all that matters. Your love and support means the world, so be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, have an amazing rest of the day. You rock.